this video we're talking about decimal arithmetic or addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of decimals. So let's look at addition here of decimals. This is going to be just like the addition that we're used to. The only thing we have to worry about when we're dealing with decimals is we need to make sure we line up the decimal place. So here we have 4.5, so we'll go ahead and put 4.5, and then we have 3.34, so we need to make sure that our decimal places line up. So we wouldn't line up the 4 here with this 5 because then our decimals wouldn't line up. We need to make sure that the decimals line up vertically like this with each other. If we have any values that are hanging off the right hand side here, we can always just put in this zero if we need to, right? 4.5 is the same as 4.50. If it helps you to write the zero to remember that it's there, then you can do that. Otherwise, we just need to know that 4 plus zero is still 4. So we add from the right hand side like we normally would. 4 plus zero gives us 4. 5 plus 3 gives us 8. We carry down our decimal place exactly in line with where it is here. And then 4 plus 3 gives us 7. So the result is 7.84. We do the same thing when we have subtraction. So here we have 16.7 minus 2.26. So we wanna make sure we line up our decimal places. So we're gonna put 2.26 in here, make sure our decimal places line up like this. And now because we're doing subtraction, we might really wanna put this zero in here because we're gonna say zero minus six. We can't do that. So we have to borrow one from the seven. So the seven is gonna become six. We're gonna put the one here. 10 minus six is gonna give us four. Six minus two is four here, six minus two is four, and one minus zero, or just one, we get one here. And notice how we brought the decimal place down directly in line with where we had it in our 16.7 and our 2.26, so the result is 14.44. Now when it comes to decimal multiplication, this is gonna be slightly different. We're going to, when we multiply, ignore the decimals for the first part of our problem. So let's take the number with more digits. This one, 6.21 has three digits. This 2.3 only has two digits. We'll take the one with the larger number of digits and put that at the top. So 6.21, and then we have our 2.3. So we'll put that here, 2.3. So in this case, you notice that we write align everything. We don't line up our decimal places. We just write align everything. And now we're gonna do this like a regular multiplication problem. And we're gonna pretend that the decimal places aren't even there. So we're gonna take this value here, three, and multiply by each of the numbers in this six, two, one here. So we're gonna say three times one gives us three, three times two gives us six, and three times six gives us 18. Remember now we put a zero here, and then we multiply two by one, then by two, then by six. So two times one gives us two, two times two gives us four, and two times six gives us 12. Now we wanna add these together. This is again, just like a regular multiplication problem. Three plus zero is three, six plus two is eight, eight plus four is 12, carry the one. One plus one is two, plus two is four, and we have one out here in front. So now we've done this like a regular multiplication problem. We completely ignored our decimals. But for our final answer, we need to put a decimal back in. And the way that we do that is we count the number of places that we have behind the decimal. So here we have one, two places behind the decimal. Here we have one place behind the decimal. That's three total places behind the decimal. So we count over in our final answer, one, two, three, and we put the decimal point right here. So then our final answer becomes 14.283. Now for the last part of decimal arithmetic, we're gonna do division with decimals. Here we have a decimal inside our dividend. We have 6.24. We wanna just take this decimal and move it directly up into our quotient. So we're gonna put the decimal right here and then just ignore it really as we divide through by four. So four goes into six one time. One times four is four. Six minus four is gonna give us two. We bring the two down, four goes into 22 five times, so we put the five there. Five times four is 20. When we subtract, we get two, and then we bring down our four to get 24. Four goes into 24 six times. Six times four is 24. When I subtract, I get zero, so my remainder is zero. And my answer then is 1.56, because we just moved that decimal directly up from where it was here in the dividend, and it stays there in our final answer.